Oh, hi again, everyone. Uh, it's Jeffrey uh, from St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church in Calgary. We're continuing in our series of online devotionals offered to our community and to anyone else who uh, might find them of interest. Today, I want to uh, focus on the theme of keeping it simple and sacred. And when we think about keeping it simple, there's uh, a lot of wisdom in that because right now there's a lot of things going on and we want to turn to that which is uh, tried and true and that which is going to see us through. I was thinking of the words of the old hymn, I'm sure you remember it. Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, tis a gift to come down where you ought to be. And when you find yourself in a place just right, you'll be in the valley of love and delight. So keeping it simple by singing little songs like that and keeping it sacred. So what do I mean by that? Well, sacred means set apart. That's really the essence of it. It means something that is put in a special place or given a special value. And sometimes we think about that as being confined to religious services, but of course it's not. It's something that we can do every day in our ordinary lives. It has to do with our intention. And so when we, I don't know, take something like a rock that we've collected or somebody's given to us and we hold it in our hand and we rub it, that's a way of making something sacred. Or if we have something that we wear all the time and I have this cross that's been given to me, that's a way of making something sacred. So we have a chance in, in our homes, maybe now more so than ever, to put a, put a place that's sacred for us. Some of us are gonna have a great, great big room where we can make something sacred. Others of us don't have that luxury. Maybe we have to think about just a corner of a table where we put a special memento or a special memory of some sort or another. It really is important for us. And I'm thinking about an article I read fairly recently by the philosophical ethicist Margaret Somerville of McGill University, an opinion piece in the Globe and Mail, and she said, to be human, we need sacred things. And she was quoting Carol Shields, who in one of her books has a character, Larry, who's wondering about such things. And Larry says this, what will happen to a world that's lost its connection with the sacred? We long for ecstasy to stand outside the self in order to transcend that self, but how do we get there? I'm also thinking of uh, someone in my own family, my late aunt Suzette, who lived in a little village outside of York in Northern England. And she was quite frail in the latter part of her life. And in the last few months uh, before she died, she was confined to her bed. And she extended the sacred out into the fields where she could see from her bedroom. And those were those beautiful, well-kept fields that you see in England, the hedgerows, and the hedgehogs, and the cows, and the sheep. And every once in a while, if she looked very carefully, and if it was the right time of day, she might see the red brush of the fox as it walked across the field. I've picked a scripture for today that I hope will remind us of the importance of grounding ourselves in the sacred. And it's, uh, it's actually from Psalm 1. And Psalm 1 gives us the image then of the uh, tree planted by the water, which is such a beautiful, familiar image to so many people. And I'm just going to find it here. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or take the path that sinners tread or sit in the seat of scoffers. But their delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law they meditate day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in its season, and their leaves do not wither. In all that they do, they prosper. And that in turn made me uh, think of a Alberta musician named Bill Bourne, who, uh, in an album that he put out oh, some time ago, it was called Farmer, Philanthropist, and Musician. 
he riffed on the idea of the tree planted by the water. And I want to just sing you a couple of, a couple of lines from that and invite you to click on the links and they'll take you right to his music. So, the sacred, it's an invitation to us all to take a little time to create a little space that matters to us. Take care of yourselves and others, now and always. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.